door-to-door campaigning in Halle. Karamba Diaby is taking the Social Democrats' campaign to Halle's popular allotment gardens. Private plots of land are a traditional relaxation spot for many East Germans. The SPD is hoping for votes among Halle's 30,000 allotment owners in September's federal elections. Hello. Good morning. We'd like to introduce you to the SPD's candidate for the Bundestag. Okay, have a nice day. Their message isn't always welcome. Germany's left party has a strong following in the region. And not everyone is willing to talk politics when they're trying to relax. A lot of people see their garden as a refuge. Some people don't like it when someone comes along and tries to hand out flyers about the election. But the majority, I'd say about 97 percent, react positively to our campaign. Garden campaigning is Karamba Diaby's specialty. He knows Halle's private gardens better than many locals because of his unique history. Diaby immigrated to the former East Germany in the 1980s after he received a scholarship to study chemistry. His research focused on heavy metal pollution in Halle's private gardens, and it eventually became the topic of his doctoral thesis. His time in the gardens gave him the chance to get to know German culture on an individual level. When I started meeting people here, many of them were curious because of how I look. People didn't have the chance to meet people like me in former East Germany. We often stayed in our student dorms and didn't have much contact with locals. But my job has let me get to know the people here, and they were very curious. On to the next campaign stop. Diaby has lived in Halle for nearly 30 years and has a seat on the town council. Now he's hoping for a direct mandate in the Bundestag. Even the organ grinder is getting into the spirit at an SPD rally in Halle. Chancellor candidate Per Steinbrück is making an appearance and has warm words for Karamba Diaby. Yeah, come closer. This is important. He represents somebody who wanted to integrate himself into the community and who's been accepted. It's an important signal because Germany is an immigration country. We need to be more welcoming for immigrants and give them a chance because Germany gets a lot from them. Diaby is a good example of how Germany benefits from immigration. How Germany can better integrate its immigrants is a focus of Diaby's work. But it's not the only one. He's also campaigning on improving education, protecting retirement savings, and the introduction of a minimum wage. We can only tackle poverty effectively if we raise the average wage in eastern Germany. We need a minimum wage. We need an across-the-board minimum wage of 8 euros 50 with no exceptions. Be it a potential voter or a fellow social democrat, Karamba Diaby has a simple and open way to approach people, like here at a summer festival in Ostrau, part of his electoral district. But not everyone reacts well to it. Racism is still a factor in his life, even if it isn't an everyday occurrence. In the early 90s, Diaby was attacked and beaten by right-wing extremists. Today, he would rather not talk about it. And where he was born is still an issue. One participant asks cautiously and friendly the questions he's often heard. It's not a problem for Diaby, but he's surprised how important they are for Germans. They always ask, where are you from? How long have you been here? How long are you here for? And when are you going home? (laughs) The festival's annual boat race is a must for Diaby. And in his own race for the Bundestag, his chances are looking good. And if all goes well for Karamba Diaby, he'll be Germany's first parliamentarian born in Africa.